for many people, money is stressful. And typically our natural reaction to dealing with a stressor is to avoid it or stay away from it because that feeling of stress is very uncomfortable. But when the topic uh, is something like money that requires you to have a hands-on approach and, and you to actively manage it, that can really become a vicious cycle. I sort of have this uh, little educational thing I give to a lot of my therapy clients around that. So I, I call it the, the scary movie principle. If you think about when you watch a scary movie, Usually, like nine times out of 10, the scariest part of the movie is kind of the middle. Like when things, whatever the scary thing is, it started to happen, but it's still kind of in that, you don't really know like who's doing it or why it's happening yet. And you get this very kind of powerless, helpless feeling. And a lot of scary movies at some point will reveal the antagonist. Like, what are you up against? And many times when that happens, you might notice a mental shift happens inside of you. And you go from just feeling terrified and powerless to problem solving. Because once you know what you're facing, you can start to develop a plan. But in order to be able to do that, you have to know what the situation is. Until you do, you cannot formulate a plan. So a lot of people, because they're so stressed out about money, they, they don't look at it. They don't have a budget. They maybe have the app, like your banking app, downloaded on their phones. And every time they even think about opening it up, they have a panic attack because they don't want to see how much they have left. Um, and they take a very hands-off approach because it, it stresses them out. But that actually tends to make it a bigger stressor because then you cannot handle it or manage it. So I encourage people with, with any topic that causes you a lot of stress, but you know you really need to deal with, just start by looking at it. Just spend some time looking at it and understanding the situation. Even if your situation is really rough and really not great, you will probably still notice that your anxiety does decrease a bit just from knowing and understanding the situation and being able to start formulating a plan than when it's just this big unknown stressor that you can't even see or deal with. When you're not in a great place mentally, it impairs your functioning. And, and dealing with money is a big part of functioning. Um, so I think any, any mental health struggle can negatively impact your ability to manage your finances. It can also work, of course, the other way, though. I mean, there is quite a bit of research that suggests that when people are, are really struggling financially, especially at or below the poverty level, rates of various diagnoses, especially things like depression and anxiety, are definitely much higher. And so I do think it's important for anyone who's in any kind of helping or authority position, just have those conversations with people. Don't assume that just because someone seems smart or capable or healthy, that they just automatically know how to manage their money. That is definitely not the case. And the other thing that's important about that is when we do not do something very often or, or ever, that thing will feel very uncomfortable to us. You know, a lot of people talk about like their comfort zones, right? Your comfort zone basically is comprised of the things you do regularly and normally. It really has nothing to do with how hard or stressful those things are. It has to do with how used to them you are. If you do something regularly, even if it's a thing that seems pretty stressful, like public speaking, that's a lot of people's biggest fear. Someone who does that regularly is comfortable.